In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Selenium to call JavaScript directly through the browser. Um, so you'll be injecting some JavaScript in here and uh, interacting directly with the objects within the browser using JavaScript. So the way to do that is actually getting a handle to the JavaScript interface. So that's what this command does is uh, getting the I JavaScript executor and simply calling execute script and sending it a string that is a JavaScript command. So here I'm simply going to alternate left to right or right to left uh, 100 to 0, 80 to 20, 60 to 40 and then I'm going to read back the value via JavaScript so you'll see in this statement I'm actually going to read back the value using JavaScript put it in this variable and try to set the document title to that value so that's the demo here and I'm going to do it across all three browsers and you could see the consistency uh, within Selenium among all three of the browsers so let me kickstart that now I'm going to put a breakpoint here and you can see so the first one that's going to start up is going to be Firefox and um, initially what you'll see is you'll, you'll see the movement of the jQuery slider and what's going on there is a previous demo that I have of the value being dragged using kind of uh, the, drag and, the uh, drag and drop and the chaining of the events so it's still kicking off right now and uh, what do you know it says it can't locate the element which is kinda interesting because he's right it's not there okay let's try to restart this I don't know exactly what's going on there uh, seems like the page didn't quite load so let me, let me just try this again, see what happens. Not, not quite sure what happened there. Okay, so there it is. The page actually loads now. So you can see that a uh, little handle is moving and that is actually from the chaining of events which is in another uh, tutorial that I have but now it actually reached uh, the JavaScript code so I am gonna step through it and you could see it's flipping back and forth left to right and here's where I read the value so in this breakpoint here I'm reading the value and you can see if I hover over it, it got the last value, which is 40, which is the value that I set here. So the slider, as you can see there, is around that 40%. And the next thing I'm gonna do is actually try to switch the document name to slider value is 40, and you'll see nothing happened. And the reason why nothing happened is because the driver was actually in a different window. It was in within this iframe here. This square box here is an iframe, which is uh, kind of like another window. So it was setting the document title of that window. But now, if you notice, if I switch back to the default context here, bam, see there it is right here. It's slider value is 40 so um, that's one thing to be very aware of that you you'll always have to be very aware of the context you're in which is basically what window you're in whether you're in this iframe or whether you're outside of the iframe and in the main document so um, alright let me now it's gonna go through to the other browsers and this is Chrome as you can see and again the first part this is really just drag the dragging and the chaining of events and I'm using WebDriver here with Selenium. So now it, it hit the uh, JavaScript portion and I'm gonna step through it really quick and you could see it go back and forth. And once again, it reads the last value. I hovered over, you see it's 40. 
and it tries to change the document title. Nothing happens until I click here and I uh, switch to the default context. And once again, if you'll notice the top here, that that's when the uh, document title switches. It's when I actually switch the back to the default context. And lastly, this is going to be Internet Explorer. So as you can see, across all the browsers, this is very consistent. Uh, calling the JavaScript and executing a lot of tests uh, in this manner. So I'm going to switch through it and you could see it's uh, going back and forth again. And I'm reading the value, it's 40. Now I'm going to switch context and you could see that uh, once I hit step over, the slider title is, uh, slider value is 40 is the title. So uh, there you go. Um, that's how you actually uh, call JavaScript using Selenium. And it is very consistent across all browsers because of the JavaScript implementation itself. So um, all right, uh, thank you for watching.